buzzer tuner a buzzer tuner delivers a continuous square wave at its output this circuit is commonly utilized for alarming and indicative purposes it is the collection of a few active and passive components with adjustable beeping speed using two potentiometers this circuit is very easy to build and can be built on a general purpose pcb or on a breadboard in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate the circuit of a buzzer tuner using npn transistor bc547 These are the components which are needed in this project. 2 NPN transistor BC547 1 kilo ohm resistor 10 kilo ohm resistor 2 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitors 2 50 kilo ohm variable resistors buzzer 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and four plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit this is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project this is a power supply indication led this is a current limiting resistor to protect the led from high current and voltage when we switch on the circuit then current flows through these two 50 kilo ohm variable resistors transistor turns on when it gets 0.7 volt at its base terminal one terminal of capacitor c1 and c2 is connected to the positive supply but it will not start charging unless the second terminal connects with the ground let us assume that after switching on the circuit transistor q2 will turn on first at this time one end of capacitor C2 will connect with the ground. Another end is already connected with the positive supply, so capacitor C2 will start charging. In the beginning it will be fully discharged, and try to suck all the available current. This will suddenly drop the voltage at C2 below 0.7 volt. C2 is connected with the base terminal of transistor Q1, so Q1 will turn off. Buzzer will remain off until the transistor Q1 turns on. After some time, when the voltage at C2 goes above 0.7 volt, then transistor Q1 will turn on. When Q1 will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of buzzer with the ground, so buzzer will turn on. At the same time, one end of capacitor C1 will connect with the ground, another end is already connected to the positive supply, so capacitor C1 will start charging, in the beginning it will be fully discharged, and try to suck all the available current, this will suddenly drop the voltage at C1 below 0.7 volt, C1 is connected with a base terminal of transistor Q2, so Q2 will turn off, this process will run forever. Beeping time of buzzer depends upon the charging and discharging time of the capacitors variable resistors are used to adjust the beeping speed first of all we will make a pcb base and for that we will take a zero pcb and make a hole at each of its corner now we will insert a one inch screw inside the hole now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer now our pcb base is ready to switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch we need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the pcb
to protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has three pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has three pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. Use a screwdriver to rotate the variable resistor. Variable resistors are used to change the beeping speed or on time of buzzer.
our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.erltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.